welcome to my kitchen. Today on episode we are cooking uh, Ukraine style dumplings. They call variniki. They're very close to pierogies. It's more popular name in America, uh, Polish name, <laughs> but uh, in Ukraine we call variniki. It's pretty much the same thing. It can be stuffed dumplings with many, many, many things as savory or sweet. Today we are going to do uh, savory ones, which uh, means stuff with homemade uh, farm cheese, or you can buy farm cheese, any store would have. And um, I will link below how to make your own. It's super easy. And herbs, everything that I found in my garden today, which is parsley, um, green onion, I found even some little bit of um, a green garlic, a cilantro, dill, dill, we love dill, <laughs> we love, love dill, and my um, oldest son loves dill, <laughs> um, a few peppercorns, uh, just for pinch, for little heat, but you can skip on that if you don't like heat, one egg to combine all together, black pepper and salt, that's about it, so pretty simple, and before we start doing filling, we need to make dough, and dough begins with all-purpose flour, four cups. Let's start with it. Pinch of salt. Every dough needs a little salt, right? Two eggs. So many recipes how to make dough for the dumplings and it's no right or wrong way <laughs> just every family has own recipe and that's the way my mom made um, I use an um, kefir you can use plain yogurt or even milk will work one cup I just like more flavor and a melted butter about three tablespoons Looks about right. So now dough needs to be wrapped. Let's wrap it. Plastic wrap. And let's wait between 20 and 30 minutes. While our dough is rested, let's make the filling. All we need to do, I just switch attachment. Add your old cheese, put the pepper, freshly ground, pinch of salt. One egg, and some greens. You can use any herbs you like. <clears throat> and only green parts of green onion. everything to the bowl and let's mix so it's becoming kind of creamy consistency almost like um, a cream cheese <laughs> it's nice and creamy at this point 
I would like to add one tablespoon of flour. One, I think I'll do two. And let's give it a mix. So three tablespoons actually chicken. <laughs> Depends how thin your um, cheese. And how big egg. Sometimes my egg was really big. The smaller egg. So it's just perfect, as you see. Perfect. So time to roll our pierogi, variniki, same thing. Generous on flour. soft let to rest so you can get back stretch to the to the size should be and now it's time to cut Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this recipe.